welcome back to my channel so in today's video we are going to do my July favorites yeah July because it's August today <laughs> so we're gonna do my July favorites for you guys and I'm kind of we got a lot of things we got a lot of different things kind of random things we got some food things things <laughs> so if you want to know what is in my July favorites for this month then keep on watching this video like I said we're gonna go through my July favorites if you are new here which I have been getting a lot of new subscribers so hello welcome my name is Becky and I am a festival and makeup content creator here on YouTube uh, so Thank you for joining the family. Thank you for hitting subscribe. Definitely hit that little notification button so that you know when I post a new video. It's, I try for once a week. The day of the week changes. It depends on what I have going on, how busy I am. But definitely thank you so much for subscribing and becoming part of the family. We're about to head into festival season. Knock on wood, nothing stops that. But as we are about to head into festival season, we're going to kick up the festival content a little bit more around here. But today we're having a slightly different video. We're doing my favorites for the month. I love doing favorites videos. I love watching favorites videos. So hopefully that's your jam. But let's just get into it because I have a few things here and I don't want this video to be like 30 minutes long. Watch it be 30 minutes long. But anyways. Let's get right into it. Let's do makeup first because why not? And I have two items for makeup today. I want to talk about the So Jaded palette from ColourPop. And this is in, this is an old palette. This was in collaboration with um, Kathleen Lights. She's also here on YouTube. I have literally been watching Kathleen since like forever. I want to say since like right before she moved back to Miami. Like she is originally from Miami, but like she moved away because her husband is in some part of the military or like armed forces or air force something like that <laughs> and so she was away with him for a while and then they moved back to miami but anyway i absolutely love her videos i've been watching her for years as i'm seeing and getting at she's a fellow aquarius so i just i love her energy she's one of the people who like got me into like makeup and like teaching myself how to do makeup and all that stuff so definitely I'm kind of late to the game here and like getting one of these I've had this for a few months now like I want to say like six months now but I've definitely started diving into it a lot more as of recently and have been so in love I would say that I have this on my eyes today but I don't I've been wearing this in the last like two or three videos that I've done where I'm wearing her palette and honestly you guys this palette palette is so pretty like she has everything you need and I will say a lot of these colors too they kind of like go onto your eye differently than they look in the pan for some of them so some of these definitely took me by surprise and I was pleasantly surprised like I liked the way that it went on my eye more than it looks like in the pan just so you know some of these are not like what you would expect them to be. Also, I will point out my least favorite colors are going to be these pressed pigment or pressed glitters. They just like, I don't really like them. They don't like apply to the eye very well. So, JFYI, it's just also something that like generally from ColourPop I'm not a huge fan of because the color payoff sometimes isn't there or it looks kind of chunky. But other than that, like I keep gravitating towards this palette now that I've like messed around with some of the colors and figured out that some of the colors aren't like exactly the colors that are in what it looks like in the pan so definitely highly recommend this is still available on ColourPop site so if you can get your hands on it it's a great one it's definitely a good one too for um, festival season it's not that expensive and you have a lot of colors in here to play with it does look like it skews more on like the dark side for colors but it's a lot more colorful than you think it is especially once you start messing around with the colors on your eyes so definitely love this palette you should check it out I think it's like 30 40 dollars and you get like 
30 something eyeshadows so highly recommend that the next item that I have for you is actually one of Kathleen's friends I think they're like childhood friends or like they've been friends for like a very very long time but it is Gabby's a la mar cosmetics so I have been really loving her little I don't even know what this is called is this your like a contour palette hydrating complexion trio complexion trio so I have been really loving this one I actually got it in a boxy charm I think it was last month so like what is that June <laughs> and it comes with three powders so you have this like white kind of it's not like a highlight because it's not necessarily like a highlight color I think you could use it but it's more like brightening and then you have these two like darker shades which could be like contour or just like warming up the skin like a bronzer basically I will say that I really have only been using the highlighter shade which is in rise and grind underneath my eyes and it is so nice I will say though like it's not like a Laura Mercier like under eye setting powder or like my Pat McGrath setting powder where like it's really going to set your under eye it's definitely a brightening powder so it's like a finishing finishing touch or like how I've been using it as of lately is when I'm just put on like my BB cream or like tinted kind of moisturizer look and I'm just like here at home and I don't really use any powder on my face I'm just like leaving it as like a cream or like liquid all over my face and then really only just like setting underneath my eyes it's mainly to like kind of help with my creasing but I will say like it still creases even with this but I've been really loving just like the way that it looks because it does give like a nice brightening effect underneath the eyes I actually do have it underneath my eyes right now I don't know if you can tell but like it kind of has like a glow under it that I just really I think it looks really nice and like youthful so definitely highly recommend these and I also think that she actually just this is like a new formula to like her older palettes so definitely check this out I will say though like these are not dark enough like if you're going to use it as like a bronzer and you're a dark girl it's maybe not the best for you but I think she has different like colors like based on your skin tone don't quote me on that I hope she does and if she doesn't I hope she expands to that but Definitely check out Alamar Cosmetics, small Latina owned business, and love supporting that as well. So, highly recommend. I have been upset. So, I was really skeptical on this when I first like saw it going around. I was like, okay, like just use your fingers. Like, that's honestly what I was thinking. Like, just like scrub your head with your fingers. But I have been obsessed with this little like massager like head massager I guess is what you would call this thing it's got little like little teeth I think that's what you would call that um, little teeth on it on the end and then you have this little handle so you can like hold it like this in the palm of your hand and they're like rubbery so they're not hard I honestly thought that they were hard when I first saw these come out but they're like a silicone like teeth so it's not hard at all and I have been loving this like it doubles as a massager but it's also like scrubbing your scalp so you're really actually getting in there I feel and like scrubbing your hair or like scalp when you go in and like do your wash day so I've been really loving this and I just got this actually at like a TJ Maxx I think is where I got it so it's like four dollars or five dollars something like that super inexpensive I definitely think that like you could probably also get it off like Amazon but if you have a local TJ Maxx just like go there and pick one up they have hundreds of them in like various colors and all that good stuff but I have been loving this little thing it just really scrubs it and it does double as a head massager I've never really been like somebody who loves like head massages but honestly this is pretty nice like on the day that you do it it's a whole like feels like self-care highly recommend it and I do think it does get my scalp cleaner especially I'm not somebody who uses a lot of dry shampoo I don't really need it but I do use a lot of products in my hair after like I use a lot of hair oil in my hair I use like different sprays as well and then I do use some scalp ones I will use like a dry shampoo like maybe like twice a week or something so I do like it I do think that it gets my hair and my scalp even cleaner go to your local like tea 
TJ Maxx for something like this. Um, another thing that I also snagged at TJ Maxx while I was there were hair clips. And I've been really, really loving these like bigger ones. I have one more. It came in like a pack of three and it was like nude, whatever. And they're like these kind of like matte soft touch kind of things. Um, I really like these. And one of the reasons why I've really been liking it too is this one sits in my shower now. So instead of just like putting in conditioner and then like leaving it all over my back because that does like make for more back acne. I don't even know like how I'm trying to say this like produce more back acne as a result. I don't know. But it can like cause more of it like if you already have that problem and then you're like putting on a lot of like heavy conditioners and you just like let it sit while you're like shaving and stuff usually makes for more like back acne. The other thing too is like you should be doing it and then like cleaning your body after but I'm not always the best at that sometimes I'm like doing two at once because I just want to get out of the shower um so definitely love this because it keeps all of the hair off of my back when it's like in there marinating I also think it like does a better job of like letting it sit there and like marinate my scalp so definitely like that I also really like these just to like have like if it's a day where I like didn't really want to do my hair you know I can just like put it up real quick and like sit at my desk and like work away for the day so definitely love these again I think I only paid like five or six dollars for them and I got them at like a TJ Maxx so definitely head over there they have like tons of colors tons of packs you can get like three or four of them you can get more if you want like they have different sizes so definitely check it out um the next beauty item is going to be nail polish so I Honestly, don't really, or at least haven't really loved nail polish, like regular nail polish, like ever. I feel like I've never like loved regular nail polish and it's because my nails are like so brittle and like not strong. Although I will say, I think that, well, one, I used to be like an acrylics girl. I still am an acrylics girl. Like I would love to still have like my bad bitch nails. I love having my nails done. I just like feel better when I have my nails done too. Like it's kind of like a self-esteem thing, I guess you could say, like as to why I like having my nails done, but I just love it in general. I've always loved nail polishes, but like back in the day when I would get nail polishes, like they would never really last more than like two days. Sometimes like not even like a full day, like they would just start chipping away. I don't know. I just like, I, I always had problems with like real, regular nail polish. And then towards, yeah, like when I was like in my teens slash like early twenties, like all I ever got was acrylic nails. And I know that that's like not the best for your nails. Like it definitely thins out your nails. Like when I would take them off, my nails would be so brittle and so thin. Like they just like were not great. Definitely also I'm pretty sure like there was a lot of people that I, were, I was going to that like used MMA in their like powders, which is not good for your nails at all. So sometimes you just don't have control over that. You never really know what like a nail salon is like using on you unless you go to like a really small like somebody who works out of their house or like a really tiny boutique and they're usually a lot more expensive just because they're using higher quality products but anyways I digress I used to be somebody who gets like my nails done a lot and ever since then I've been trying to find somebody in the city who can do acrylics like really well and do like designs really well and stuff and I just have no luck. There's nobody here in the city that does good nails who takes clients. Because I found like some people who like do really, really good nails and really good nail design, but they don't take new clients. So I can't get in and I can't see them. And if I'm going to go somewhere, I want them to like, I want to go there like consistently. I don't just want to go and then like wait three or four months until they have a cancellation or like they open like one slot for like somebody who walks in kind of a deal so there's that it's been a rough time okay I also can't seem to find anybody who does gel X which is like a lot better for your nails so it's been a long journey girl and so I started doing like gel nail polishes because that just like lasts a little bit longer at least a week but even then, I was noticing that still my nails were, like, pretty weak. Like, they were still breaking pretty easily. Like, 
they still felt pretty brittle. So I kind of, I don't know, and it also like to take off the gel, girl. It takes so long. So <laughs> I stopped doing that as well. And as of recently, I was like, you know what? Let me try like regular nail polish. Like who cares? I kind of, I like to constantly change my like nail color anyway so I was like maybe just like regular nail polishes is like what I should do and then I can just like keep changing it up who cares right but I was pleasantly surprised when I got myself some Essie nail polishes girl I don't know if they changed their formula at all but it seems like they did because this polish was really surprisingly good. It was a lot thicker than they used to be before. I used to get the Essie polish and it was basically see-through, like it was transparent. Like I would put down a layer and I'd be like, cool, that was great. Like let me fucking pile on like five or six other layers of this polish. And I was pleasantly surprised at how much thicker they made their formula and the fact that it actually lasted me a whole week before it started chipping. Like that is unheard of in a normal nail polish these days. I got these as well. So I got Smokin' Hot, Eternal Optimist, Sugar Daddy, and this one is Check In to Check Out. So I have been loving these. They're super nice and thick. They've been lasting me a while. Again, I really think that they like change their formula and they change it for the better so good job Essie. I will say out of all of the colors though the sugar daddy one is one that is thinner but if you do three coats it's like fully opaque so that is one but I think like for this color that is that's the point <laughs> like it's supposed to be nice and thin like barely there so there you go these other ones though I love that they're like nice and opaque so Highly recommend if you're looking or in the market for some good nail polish that isn't just gonna like peel off in a week. Definitely get yourself some messy. I would have some. I literally just picked them all off, like before I started doing this video, um, which is great for me. But yeah, I'm gonna do my nails after this, or I don't want to wait for them to like dry and then do my video. So here we are. But they are really really great. I love them. Highly recommend. The next thing that I have for us today is going to be some snacks. <laughs> um, I'm sure you follow Jaclyn Hill. Um, everyone does at this point, but I love her segment of like Jack snacks because I also love snacking. Like I kind of honestly prefer snacking over like full meals to be honest. It's probably not the most healthiest thing, but a girl loves her snacks. I love chips. I love just like snacking on things. It's great. Definitely not always like the most healthiest things, but I do love snacks. So um, in the spirit of snacks, I'm going to share some of my favorite snacks from this last month, which these are both from Japantown, like here in the city. So there's this little place. I don't even know what the name of it is called. It starts with an M. If I figure out what the name of it is, I'll like put their like little sign here. But I'm pretty sure you can get this at like any Asian market or like the Asian sec like aisle at your local grocery store. For the most part, not every place does. Like I definitely haven't seen the one of these things at like my local Safeway before. But I personally like going to like the Japan town and going to that little Asian market. So the first thing is this mochi. I'm sure you can get this at like a Safeway or like somewhere local, but this one in vanilla, honestly, okay, my favorite one since like forever. I've been having these for like years and years and years since I was like in middle school. My mom started buying these and my favorite one of all time has always been strawberry. Like the strawberry one of these is just OG AF so good but I was like let me try a different flavor like let me see if I like it and I got the vanilla one and it says it's vanilla bean and vanilla bean is literally my favorite ice cream flavor I know it's vanilla and plain as fuck but it's my favorite like I absolutely love vanilla bean so when I saw this I was like we're gonna try it let's see what it's like literally the best vanilla bean mochi ice cream ever like it's so good i would honestly even get this just to have the ice cream on the inside because 
the vanilla bean in here is so good. I would say it's about as good as like a haagen like vanilla bean ice cream. So if you can get this at your local like Asian market, if they have this one, definitely get it for the summer as well. Like great summer snack because they're just small little bites. I usually only have like one bite at a time, but the second thing is these chips from the Asian market. Okay, I ran out of the ones because I ate them like so fast. <laughs> but I ran out of the ones that are like my favorite favorite, but this one's like my second favorite if you will. But it is these shrimp chips. Like literally there's like five chips in here right now. But these shrimp chips are so good. Uh, like I don't know how to explain them to you, but they are literally the best chips that you can get. They're like these little, they kind of look like, they kind of look like veggie chips, like veggie like sticks, um, but they're shrimp chips and they're not overwhelmingly fishy whatsoever because when I first was introduced to fit, like shrimp chips, I was like, that's disgusting. Why would I want to have shrimp in a chip? Like I just, I wasn't that big into like seafood either at the time, but girl, let me tell you, these chips are so good okay you guys need to try these but the ones that I'm going to recommend to you that like you have have to try is the hot ones the hot garlic ones oh my god they're so good I ate through that bag in two days which these aren't very big bags like for size reference I have a small hand so these are like a medium size like not even medium I would say medium size bag of chips and they're literally so so good and they're just like addicting to like eat it does also I will say they do contain shellfish obviously it's like a shrimp chip so if you are allergic don't try these <laughs> um, but they are so good and that hot garlic one just has like the perfect amount of heat it is like anybody can have that chip and not be like oh my it's not like hot Cheetos where like you have a chip and you're like well like that's kind of hot like I don't really like that like it's like you almost can't like keep eating it this one's like the most perfect amount of like spice that you just want to keep eating it like it does kind of burn your tongue but it's more of like a a little a light zing to your tongue versus like a oh my god this is so hot so definitely highly recommend those over just like the regular shrimp chips but if it is your first time like trying shrimp chips maybe try these first see how you like it and then try the other ones but I'm just saying, girl, you need to find yourself these and try it out, okay? They're so good. I've also been seeing around lately, like, on YouTube as well, like, these, like, Japanese or, like, Asian, like, snack boxes. So kind of like a HelloFresh where, like, it's like a monthly subscription, but they send you, like, new snacks every month. I'm intrigued. I kind of want to try it because Asian snacks are really, really good, so definitely try to check that out. I've been blabbering on forever so I'm trying to get through these next few things really quickly but the other thing that has been a favorite of mine which I've had this for like a year now if not a little bit longer but I've been using it like non-stop lately and like you know if you've been watching my videos for a minute here you know that I live on a busy street in San Francisco and it's not the busiest street in San Francisco, but it's still a busy street. It gets loud. I hear a lot of outdoor sounds all day long. There's literally a bus stop like right outside of my house on all four corners. So it's a loud little like intersection that I'm at, okay? And sometimes I just don't want to hear it. Like I don't want to hear it. I don't want to have to hear people honking and revving their stupid engines all the time it gets to me like it really does like I cannot wait until we move but you know for now I'm here we're making the best of it right and when I do morning yoga as well as I've started some meditation which I'll get into like how I started getting more into that in this last month but Ever since I've been doing that, I'm just like, I cannot stand. Like, it takes me out of the zone of what I'm doing and, like, my moment when I have to hear the outdoors and, like, how loud it is and, like, all that jazz. So, 
I have been obsessed with my Bose headphones. These are the noise canceling ones. I honestly, let me figure out. Why the fuck? Who the fuck? See? This is what I mean. It's fucking loud as shit. I don't know what they are because my case is empty. Um, but they are nice. They have a little case that comes with them when you do buy them. These were actually a, I believe it was a birthday gift from my boyfriend last year. I believe. I'm not sure. If I can find them and he can tell me what they are, then I will link them down below for you guys. But I have been absolutely loving these. These are like full over your ear headphones. Um, and if you're somebody like me who has like a smaller head, they do kind of like they don't like stay super in place but they're still really nice they have like a cushion here on the top as well so they don't hurt and I have been loving wearing these when I'm doing my yoga and like having the yoga person like in my ear so like watching YouTube on like my laptop or something and then I put it on as well as meditation which I have started getting into and it has been really really great so definitely highly recommend these they got the noise canceling feature you can do low high and then off I think and then you have the little controls here on the side and it's Bluetooth there's no wires it comes with the thing so that you can connect it um, and the other thing I really love about these is like I really only have to charge these like once every two weeks if I'm like really using them often or honestly like once a month to be honest like these are they've got a really good battery life on them so definitely if you're looking for a pair of um, noise canceling headphones these are really really great and I highly recommend them so the next thing that I'm going to be talking about that has been another favorite for the month of July is with um, find your vibe coaching so if you guys don't know already find your vibe coaching is with aid from vibe with aid is also like her branding for her like festival and like content creation stuff and then she just recently launched I believe it was this year I don't think it was like towards the end of last year I think it was this year she launched her find your vibe like coaching program so she does one-on-one -on -one coaching and she um, works with people she has like group coaching then she has one-on-one -on -one coaching and then she has like a mentorship as well I believe um, and so what she did on her find your um, find your vibe coaching page which I will put in a picture here as well and leave links down below for you guys but what she has been doing for the month of July is she started a highest self summer challenge for us and so basically this was supposed to help us well it for me it has but it's like supposed to help people kind of like get back on track and like get realigned and like get to your highest self like figuring that out in the month of June so she kicked this off it was a 27 day challenge it was from July 5th to July 31st and she says here in her like first post I put together a free summer challenge for the month of July for us to have fun and connect with our highest selves how it works I'll post a challenge a day for you to participate you'll complete the challenge and can document your progress on IG by tagging find your vibe and at hashtag highest self summer we'll stay connected via IG group chat for inspiration and community and for extra accountability and fun each tag for a daily challenge will enter you into a giveaway at the end and so then she goes in and tells you like what her giveaway prizes are I just absolutely loved it like it spoke to me at the time she posted like what the calendar days were gonna be and everything like that so some of the challenges were to like the very first one was to journal on your goals for devoting yourself to this challenge the next day was meditate on who your higher self is and what you value start a gratitude journal write affirmations and make an affirmation jar active get outside make a vision board start a new book dress as your highest self go for a long walk um, have a yoga class go outside and dance there's just a bunch of different stuff so each day there was a new challenge what was great about it too is like it wasn't where like if you didn't do it that day like you couldn't do it like another day and like still get like points towards that day you could totally like if you were too busy like you would do it the next day or the day after but I absolutely 
loved this challenge. It like was the thing that I needed at the right time. It was also just like a, a great like keeping yourself accountable, like doing the things that like, oh, you say it in your mind, like, oh, I'm gonna do that. Oh, I'm gonna like meditate. Oh, I'm gonna like start that new book. But then you never do it because you let life kind of like get in the way. So I absolutely loved doing her challenge. You can definitely still do this like without being part of the challenge, like the month is over. So like the challenge is over and all that stuff, but you can definitely still like print out this like um, calendar. She has it on her site and there's a link in her bio. So definitely go there to check that out, but you can definitely like download this, print it and like put it up or like take it and make it your own however you want and like do one a day and it totally helps because you just like realign with like the things that you keep telling yourself that you want to do and then you never do them so I absolutely loved it anyways that is all that I have for you guys today for my July favorites I hope you guys really enjoyed this video I think it was kind of hodgepodgey I had some snacks I had some beauty I had some like self-help kind of stuff um, but yeah definitely check out aid definitely check out her coaching stuff I think she's got great like information and a lot of great advice so definitely check her out there she also just did a like life is a festival um, masterclass and then I think she's about to come out with one with Emma Capotis so definitely keep your eyes out for that um but yeah anyways I'm just gonna wrap this one up because that is all that I have for you guys today um hope you enjoyed this video let me know in the comments down below if we have any of the same favorites or if there's anything that you loved this month that I should know about and I should try next month definitely leave it down in the comments below but yeah Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! <laughs>